if f is a function from a group G to a group H, and it's a homomorphism, then f of the identity of G, which we'll call EG, is equal to the identity of H, which we'll call EH. The homomorphism maps the identity to the identity. We're going to prove this basic homomorphism property. Link in the description to my lesson on homomorphisms if you need a review. To begin the proof, let's take an arbitrary element from our group G. Then consider F of this element X composed with the identity element of G. By definition of a homomorphism, it doesn't matter if we combine these elements before we put them in the function, or if we combine their images under the function separately. So this is equal to f of x times f of e g. However, there's another thing that we could say about f of x e g as well. Not only is it equal to f of x times f of e g, put in the function separately, but also since e g is the identity element, f of x e g is the same thing as f of x. And so we could set these two things equal to each other. f of x f of e g is equal to f of x. Again, the first equation just follows by definition of a homomorphism, and the second equation follows by definition of identity. Now we get this third equation, and we'll multiply both sides by the inverse of f of x. We know that exists because f of x is an element of the codomain. The codomain is a group h. So certainly this element of the codomain has an inverse. So we'll multiply on the left. Both sides of the equation get this factor of f of x inverse. Now of course all of these are elements of our group h. So the operation here is associative and we can combine f of x inverse with f of x and of course f of x inverse with f of x. In both cases it gives the identity element of h. So on the left side of the equation, we have the identity element of H multiplied by F of E G. And on the right side, we of course also have the identity element of H. Now F of E G is also an element of H. So when we multiply that by the identity of H, the identity just doesn't do anything. So we can erase it and we have our desired result. We see that since F is a homomorphism from G to H, the image of the identity of G under the homomorphism is the identity of H. So homomorphisms map identities to identities.